Hello, uh, very good evening, racing folks. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Uh, this video again is a little educational video for equine diseases that uh, most of you don't bother to read in the coal or bowl or uh, whichever book you are following. Uh, because Bangalore season is coming from tomorrow, uh, Bangalore is the only club, Bangalore Tough Club, that publishes, uh, <coughs> they get more carried away. <laughs> they publish three to four last five years of of uh, day one problem of a uh, race horse that you're going to bet your tenner. And if you don't read it, folks, then uh, most of you blame, oh, Suraj Pool, Chor, Chor, Trevor, Chor, this, Chor. Uh, the idea of making this uh, videos in the educational series is that you guys don't bet on unsound horse. For example, dry coated, less than 400 kilo, or a medical patient. If you bet one of these, uh, all, all, all three problem horse, then if the horse loses, then you have the easiest way is, I am a, a co-admin in many groups, I get a very big kick out of, hey, the guy pulled, chore, chore, hey, what the hell chore, you are bloody ignorant soul, you don't know, uh, idea is to bet a sound uh, race horse, folks. Uh, that's the whole idea of making all these uh, uh, videos for. A penny uh, saved uh, at the racetrack is a dollar earned at the end of the day, folks. Remember all that. Anyways, uh, <coughs> these equine diseases can be in a... Uh, let me make one disclaimer, folks. I am not a vet. I am not a medical student. But I had the pleasure of working with Dr. Stephen Buchenbach. He was a great-great-grandson of Bank of America. Uh, founder and by virtue of inheritance he didn't have to work but he loved the horses he was the chief anesthesiologist at Santa Anita racetrack I had the pleasure of seeing many many horses getting operated uh, so I have little knowledge plus of course uh, Gosden's uh, vet Dr. Helmut Van Blucher was a great vet so uh, I saw most of this <coughs> If you want to go deep uh, into this matter, um, the, the best uh, uh, alternative is uh, uh, Vasudev, uh, uh, Google Uncle, <laughs> the 21st century Krishna, will, will uh, you open it and uh, you will get a, uh, maybe some photograph, uh, especially the uh, leg diseases. It's very difficult for me to explain it uh, over the video. Anyway, <clears throat> the, there will be three uh, broad uh, versions of these diseases. One is the uh, bleeders that most of you know. It is termed in the racetrack language as EIPH, exercise induced uh, pulmonary hemorrhage. Um, um, I, I, uh, till date, uh, they have not been successfully able to point out the main reason. But the stress, pollution uh, are considered the biggest culprit. If you have an unfit horse and you work him very fast, uh, he may bleed. Uh, EIPH and the BV, blood vessel broke, though to be the comment. Apparently, in U.S. where I worked, uh, Lasix was legal and uh, we used to get uh, from U.K. Grade 1, Grade 2, Grade 3, race horses who bled. Even Lasix was uh, illegal in UK. Because it is illegal in UK, we are a copycat of, uh, colony of... Uh, all the colonies of uh, UK still, still haven't realized that Lasix is a very uh, helpful for a race horse. Uh, uh, it won't bleed. It All it does is thins the uh, blood. It doesn't do magic. Even the... Uh, medical patient for heart surgery has given Lasix uh, to thin the blood, but it it, it works. I, I I know for a fact it works. Uh, in India, apparently uh, some Ayurvedic medicines are there, so I have heard because I do see some horses who bled. Uh, then next time uh, they don't bleed, especially Irfan Gatala or Gotala, whatever whoever whatever you want to term him. Uh, so. But uh, I, I won't bet a horse once he has bled. Uh, 
Actually, there, there is a degree of uh, uh, bleeding also. Unfortunately, we do not know. One is uh, through nostrils, and another one is uh, if it, they put an uh, endoscope and they see, and it's a lot of blood, 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 blood. I have seen it. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's a big no-no for me. The second uh, uh, big disease is, is for breathing. Uh, those are repairable. I have seen surgeries. Uh, uh, it's a very small surgery, especially with the lasers and all. And that does uh, make a huge difference. It won't make a donkey <laughs> run very fast. But if a horse has an ability and because he had trouble breathing, it, it would make a huge, huge difference. Uh, I have seen the class 4 animal go all the way up to class 1. Uh, the first broader term you will see is what is called LA stands for laryngeal abnormalities. The way they identify is the, uh, I don't know, uh, most of you have not gone to the racetrack in the morning. I strongly advise you go see the morning track. You'll see horses roaring. <laughs> That from there, and then when the horse comes from the race, if it's very weak and uh, uh, breathing very hard, then the trainer calls the vet, then the vet uh, kind of uh, tries to identify. Uh, the one is the tie back forward and uh, uh, tie, other tie. Uh, that is a uh, uh, very uh, common surgery that takes place. It's a very it's not a very difficult surgery. So they're using a piece of suture material to uh, retract the paralyzed left side of the laryngeal and fix it. Uh, uh, then there is a hop day, you may have uh, read about it. Then they remove uh, the horse's left vocal cord along with two adjacent pouches to reduce the vibration and that's, that stops, uh, that also helps. Then there is tie forward, tie backward. Uh, there is a uh, entrapped epiglottis. That is also there is a valve that uh, blocks the the, the uh, main uh, tube of breathing, and they just go in there and take it out, and it works, and it does miracle. I, I, I have seen it. So, uh, for a, uh, for punter point of view. Uh, we, uh, most of us, including me, are laymen, so uh, these things uh, do work. The biggest and the worst thing that you don't want to do are these three. These are, one is sesamoiditis, second is suspensory, and third is tendonitis or tendon problem. Of course, there are exceptions, uh, like Pacey's Northern Light, uh, which had tendon problems, uh, but went up to win Surendra Mahindra uh, America, mile race and subsequently in Bombay also he won. But that is because the PC work didn't work if it was in somebody else's and they would have worked the hell out of him and he would have broken down. But uh, PC went uh, slow, slow. Even Secretariat uh, uh, was, there was a rumor he would be scratched in the last race of his, but he had a big heart, a very huge heart. They have that heart, I think, saved somewhere, and they weighed it, and it weighs some umpteen pounds more than a typical racehorse heart would weigh. That may be true for Northern Lights as well. So uh, the exceptions always happen. As far as this uh, suspensory sesamoiditis is concerned, I, my advice to you guys is, instead of me telling you on this video, you uh, Google it. Uh, Google Uncle has all the answers uh, to explain better. But uh, stay away from whenever you read the word suspense. It's a very, very uh, delicate folks, uh, uh, muscle or, or ligament, whatever you might want to call it. And the location makes it very vulnerable because the it's uh, by the leg joining. Uh, 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 the uh, bottom of it, and, and because the horse puts uh, three times the body weight on one leg, that is 1,500 kilos, if suppose the horse weighs 500, assuming. So uh, that is uh, 
it, it bothers them. It, well, the minute it will bother, obvious the reason is he'll stop running. And then, of course, uh, he loses, oh, he pulled, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's not the way that is. Of course, there is Hera Ferry in Indian racing much more. Uh, but uh, these are the uh, uh, equine diseases uh, that uh, uh, stops them from giving their best, especially by last 100, 200 meters, if it bothers them, then it's obvious that they, they're not going to run. They are athletes, and if athlete put bothers, uh, why would they run? I mean, you wouldn't run, so why would a poor horse can talk? So <laughs> smart trainers can figure it out, smart jockeys figure it out, sir, what if something, you know, something happened? And uh, he just stopped like the wall, he hit a wall or something. So, uh, uh, you have to uh, be uh, very careful, folks. Do read. Uh, luckily, in Bangalore books, uh, or especially Bowl, which I uh, don't get it here, but at least the PDF format has some, uh, or uh, whichever book, uh, I'm sure there are some, or you have to find a, a way out of this. Or, all, of course, you can always come on my YouTube, uh, same my link as this. I'm live, more than 100 uh, odd numbers come on a small centers, the bigger uh, centers. I can tell you get this horse has this problem, that problem. Uh, I am not an handicapper. I, I, I do paddock reading. And I can guide you properly to bet on a safe horse. Uh, that's all. Uh, you don't want to waste your tenor books on a horse that is dry coated or 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 uh, less than 400 kilos or uh, unsound medical patients so that's all thanks for watching uh, do try to come live uh, i love my pre race uh, videos uh, for bangalore and this time i'm going to make post race analysis also let's hope if it's helpful i'll keep on making it or i'll stop it thanks for watching folks you have a good one bye bye have a good bangalore season it's a good, more than 150 odd horses have come from different, different uh, parts of India. More than 20 trainers are going to be there. So it's going to be a very interesting race. Hopefully we all make money. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching again.